Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a flyer in Word. This flyer will be for marketing or commercial use and can be fully customised to suit your needs. I'm currently using Office 365. If you do need to upgrade or update, there is a link in the description below. And I'm also using a Wacom tablet and pen instead of a mouse and if that's something you might be interested in, it's also in the description below. So, the first thing to notice when you open your Word document is that you will have a default A4 size piece of paper. Most flyers these days tend to be A5, so the first thing we need to do is change our page size. So I'm going to go up to Layout, and then I'm going to go to this icon that says size and then click on the drop down arrow and go down to A5. Now I'm just going to zoom in, make my page a bit bigger and now I need to adjust my margins because at the moment my margins are too wide. So again up to layout, across to margins click the drop down arrow and down to custom margins. Okay, now I'm just going to click on the top box here, highlight the numbers and then just dial in 0.2. I'm then going to highlight it. I'm then going to copy that, highlight this, right click, paste, highlight, right click, paste, highlight, right click and paste. Then I'm going to click OK and I'll find this menu that will appear which will talk about your printable area. Now this refers to your printer. Some printers will have borderless printing. Those printers that don't you will end up with a small white margin around the outside of your page. If you're not happy with that you might either get to have to get it professionally printed or you may have to just simply cut off those white areas. I'm going to click ignore and then you can see that my margins have been reduced. The next thing I want to do is change the colour of my page. So I'm going to go up to design, along to page colour, click the drop down and I'm going to choose this colour here. Now I need to add an image. So I'm going to go up to insert, picture, the drop down arrow down to picture from file. I'm going to select this image here and click insert. My picture has been cropped to square but if you do need to adjust your picture, then you can just simply ensure that your picture is selected and you're on the picture format icon up here and you can simply go along up to this area here and use the crop tools to crop your uh, picture to the size that you need. So I'm just going to reduce the size of my picture just a little bit by just clicking on the corner box and dragging inwards. I also want this picture to be in the centre of my document. So again, being on the shape format tab, I'm going to go along to position, click on the drop down and click this box here, top centre. And then I'm going to use my up arrow and I'm simply going to move my picture so that it's a fairly equal distance from the top as it is from the sides. Perfect. Okay, the next thing I want to do is add a title. So I'm going to click insert, text box, draw text box, and then simply drag out a text box. Then I'm just simply going to write some text
There we go. And to adjust this text, I'm going to simply highlight it, click on the Home tab, and go down to the Font menu here. And I'm going to click the font that I want. I also want it in bold, so I'm going to click the bold icon. And then I'd like to increase the size of it. So I'm just going to use this Increase Font Size tab here and simply click until I'm happy. If you don't find the size that you need exactly, you can input um, the size here. You can use the drop down, but you can always input the size that you need here. Once that's done, I want to get rid of the outline of this text box. And to do that, I need to make sure the box is selected. Go to Shape Format, go to Shape Outline, click on the drop down arrow and click No Outline. And there you can see it's got rid of that border. I also want to adjust the background here. So I will select the box. I'm going to go to Shape Fill, click on the drop down arrow and click on the colour that I want. Actually, I'm going to make that a little bit lighter. Now I'd also like to reduce the transparency of this uh, background so that you can just begin to see the image coming through. So in order to do that, I need to double click on my text box, revealing this drop down menu to the side here. So it's called Format Shape. I need to ensure I'm on Shape Options. I'm on the bucket icon and I need to go down to Fill and open up the drop down. I'm currently on Solid Fill and I want to go down to Transparency and move the slider to the right. And as you can see, you can um, see the, the apples just peeking through on that background here. Once I'm happy, I'm just going to adjust the size of my text box and click off. Okay, this black's a little bit too dark for me, this font colour. So I'm just going to click on the box and then I'm going to click near my text, highlight my text, and then I'm going to go to the Home tab, click on this icon here, Font Colour, and then I'm going to click on this font colour here. Click off, and I'm happy with that colour. I'm just going to use my arrow key to move the box slightly to the left, and I'm happy with that. The next thing I'm going to do is to insert an information box at the bottom here. So I'm going to go to insert, text box, draw text box, and just simply click and drag. Okay. In here, I'm just going to put some information. So what I need to do is to make sure it's in the center. So if I go to the home tab and I click this center text icon up here, it will ensure that my text goes in the center. I'm just going to paste in some text which I've typed previously. There we go. And I'm just going to move that down a little bit. And if I click off to check it's what I want, that's great. So now what I want to do is just get rid of this black border and change the background colour of this text box. So I'm going to select the text box, go up to Shape Format, click on Shape Outline and check No Outline. Then I'm going to go to Shape Fill, click on the drop down and select the colour I want. Check off and I'm happy with that. The next thing I want to do is just add some information here. So I'm going to go to Insert, Text Box, Draw Text Box, and then I'm simply going to click and drag for another text box. Go up to Home again and to the Center Text icon. 
And again, I'm just going to paste in some information. Okay, I'm just going to move that text down a little bit. And if I click off, again, in order to format this text box, in this particular case, I want to get rid of the border again, but I also want to get rid of the background. So I'll just click on the text box, go up to shape format, to shape outline and no outline, and on to shape fill and down to no fill. Click off to check it. And I think I'm just going to move the box down slightly. You can make the box smaller if you wish and move it down slightly. Now, in order to move this text box around wherever you need it, uh, if it doesn't do that, because sometimes you'll find that it's a bit clunky or you can't move it for some reason, then ensure it's selected, go up to this wrap text box here and click on either in front of text or behind text and you'll find you'll be able to move it around. And there we have it. So I hope this has been helpful for you. It's just a quick overview of how to design and make a quick flyer in Word. If you have enjoyed it, please subscribe. Any comments or help needed, please put them in the comments below and have a great day.